Just taking a quick look at this new power station, this Vulcan power station. Now, this is interesting because, you know, if you follow the channel, I like to talk about the design of these power stations. And <laughs> this is actually quite an interesting design, right? Because it almost looks like a gas generator, right? I mean, it looks, I think that was kind of the look they were, they were going for. Right? This might be interesting to you, or you might find this appealing if, you know, you don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be that guy, <laughs> you know? You don't want to be that guy that's, you know, going green, you know, maybe all your friends you're going out camping, tailgating with, you know, maybe they, <laughs> they're just using gas generators still, so you can just kind of fit right in with this thing, right? And no one will know that, <laughs> you know, you're using solar, whatever, and I think, Besides the fact that it looks like a gas generator, it's a, it's just actually got kind of a cool look to it. So we'll kind of come back to the design thing, you know, at the end of the video. Let's just kind of jump into the specs here. So they're actually, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right up front, they're actually pretty good for a small unit. This is, you know, it is a small unit, 512 watt hours, but it is LFP batteries. And now what's really interesting about this product is they're saying they're using this, what they're calling sick vigor tech. Sick is it's silicon carbide is what they're saying, and I actually I haven't seen this mentioned in any of the other power stations. I was just looking at this on the Department of Energy. In fact, um, benefits of silicon carbide. This is you know the semiconductor chip. Typically, it's just silicon. So there's a there's a bunch of <laughs> there's a bunch of benefits, right? So this is actually a really good idea. Just to kind of sum this up here, you know, it can handle higher temperatures, higher voltages. They're saying down here, less costly equipment because basically you can have uh, smaller heat sinks because the, everything can just handle higher temperatures and it's more efficient. I don't, know, I don't know why they don't have this part in the bulletin list down here, but this whole paragraph here is all about efficiency. It's just much more efficient than, than what a silicon chip can do. So, you know, that's the reason you're going to have less heat, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, plus 5%. On the inverter efficiency is what they're saying there, smaller size as well. And so this thing is their third generation, actually. I don't, I don't even remember the first, first two generations, but evidently it's their third generation. And it kind of sounds like, you know, it kind of sounds like they know what they're doing now. You know, this silicon uh, carbide inverter, it's bi-directional as well, right? So there's, there's no power break. You're just going to be able to plug it in. Again, they're touting that the high efficiency number and the, the low amount of heat that's going to be produced with this unit. And for the actual output, you know, it's only 700 watt inverter, uh, the peak 1400 watts. But, you know, this is a small power station, as I mentioned, it's small, 13, actually 13 pounds. So this is actually quite small, especially considering LFP cells, right? So, and then we do actually get a, a 15 milliseconds or less switch over on the UPS. And they mentioned this lightning and surge protection as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think anything inside this little box is going to be able to protect you from a lightning strike. But, you know, maybe there are some fluctuations. Something's going on in the grid. It's just a good idea to have some built-in protection. And they do have that as well. And right here, they're talking about AC output capacity plus 5%, right? So that's what the efficiency is, the inverter efficiency. You know, what does that mean to you? It basically means you're going to be able to run this thing longer with the inverter on, right? And I talked about this in my videos, you know, the inverter is going to use typically a lot of power, you know, just if you just leave it on. So this is where the appeal of this kind of silicon carbide inverter is going to come into effect. Anytime you see these capacity tests that, you know, all the other YouTubers do, you know, supposedly this one's going to do even better than the competition. And now they do say, you know, if you want to charge this thing up, one hour, that's all it's gonna take. So that's from the wall, you know, so probably around 500 watts going in from the wall. And as you can see there as well, you know, it just, you know, just a standard wall cord is gonna, you're gonna hook up to this thing. And then it looks like there's an XT60 for solar there, right? So that's interesting because they're only saying 200 watts on this, you know, so this is not, you know, it's not, this is probably the most disappointing spec of this. But again, we're talking about 512 watt hours. so. It's not really too bad. And I couldn't find, you know, the voltage range or the amps. So it's probably nothing spectacular. And let's just, you know, talk about the design here a little bit further because there's actually a lot of cool little details here. You know, first, first up is just this huge screen, right? Very large, very easy to read, colorful. And I kind of like these battery meters. 
and it just looks like something again it's almost like a reference to gas powered things right it, it's like it almost reminds me of an rpm gauge the way it's kind of like curled around here and then what's interesting too is on the other side here we get this little one this one actually lights up you know basically how much of the load you know how much of the max load are you outputting so in this image here you can see it's almost full because they're showing it's outputting 600 watts right so right about there would be the full 700 watts so yeah just kind of a cool little like power usage gauge and then we get all the other icons and stuff and just you know a little detail there i love when these power stations add like a little solar icon it just kind of you know i don't know it's just kind of fun especially when you are using solar so yeah just a lot of cool little details there now if we actually zoom into some of the output ports here Guess what? It's pretty good stuff for USB as well, right? We get two 100 watt USB Cs. How about two two USB quick charges as well? A couple of barrel ports and the regular car socket. And then the light on the side. You know, I I love having lights on these power stations. It makes sense, <laughs> especially if you're going to be using it if the power's out or something. But what's cool about this is, yes, you know, this is you see the light here, yes. But guess what? There's actually these little accent lights on the side as well. Um, if we go over to this other image over here, you can actually see, there it is. You know, so I guess those light up as well. So yeah, it's just kind of, um, it's, a, it's a fun design, right? I kind of like, like this idea, you know, of making it look like a gas generator, even though it's not. And then, you know, the specs, it looks like, basically everything, the specs look real good. I'm actually quite curious about this inverter does it really live up to the hype yeah hopefully you kind of found this overview helpful or interesting and yeah thanks for watching